okay welcome back and in this lesson I'm going to show you how you can track changes in your word document so it's a very simple process that you need to follow and you can easily track changes inside your word document so you need to go to review over here and you can see in this tracking pane on your ribbon there is an option called track changes which says keep track of changes made to this document this is especially useful if the document is almost done and you're working with others to make revisions or give feedback so basically this means that when you have written your article for example and then you give it for revisions so what this option does is that if you enable this option and you can insert comments and you can make changes and it will the word 2016 will keep track of the changes made and will tell you afterwards that these are the following changes that have been made to this document so this is a very helpful tool if you're working or writing articles that you need to give to other businesses so let's implement this track changes option onto our word document so let's click track changes over here I have this sample document opened up and click track changes. Now this track changes options has been enabled. Now let's make our first change. Let's bold this text. So you can see that I have bold this test text challenging over here and it says Sayed Ali Heather a few seconds ago formatted the font bold. So I've bold this challenging text over here and it's pointing out this and you notice a line over here which tells me that in this line I have made a change if I click this line you can see that the right navigation pane has been removed and it just so shows a simple red line which shows that I have made changes in this particular line and over here you can see that it has changed to simple markup and first it was original all markup and what if I select no markup if I select no markup all the comments will be removed however your changes are still being tracking and you can after making the changes on this word document click all markup and it will show all the changes that you have made on this document so you notice that my name that is being displayed over here is Sayed Ali Heather, which is the name on my Microsoft account. So what if I need to change this name? I need to simply go to the right bottom corner of my tracking pane, click this and it opens up my track changes options. So first of all, let's dive into our changing the username. So let's click this option over here, change username. And you notice that it opens up the word options which we studied in one of our previous lessons in module 2. So what you need to do is go to general over here. And you notice that the username I have is Sayed Ali Heather. And let's change this to Sayed over here. And the initials will be SA for Sayed Ali. Right, Sayed Ali over here. And once I've done this, and now if I click OK and make changes, it will still display my Microsoft Office account name. And what is the reason for this? So basically, the reason behind this is that I need to check this box, which says, always use these values regardless of sign into Office. So basically, this means that even if I'm signed into my Office account, it will use these names and initials. So let's check this box. And click OK again I need to click OK and now let's make some changes inside this document so let's remove the bold from here and notice I'm using the keyboard shortcuts which is control B for bold and control I for italics and you can also do them from over here in the font pane right on your ribbon let's go back to review and you notice one thing that over here the name has been changed and the color has also been changed 
so first of all what i formatted is that i've changed it not bold i removed the bold from this text over here and why is the color changed so basically the color is changed because there is a new author word detects oh there is a new author in this track changing and i need to differentiate this author from the other one so the first one is Sayyid Ali Haider and the second one is Sayyid Ali so this was how you can easily track changes and one more thing before concluding this lecture let's go back to our track changes options over here and you can personalize what do you want to track in your word document so if you want to track comments you can check comments if you want to track ink you can track ink insertions and deletions formatting and pictures by comments you can track all of these and you notice that these are the options that have been blurred because they are mandatory in tracking changes you can uncheck these there these are all optional but highlight updates for example it will display in red color or blue color and other authors which means that it will also display which author made which change so the next thing is balloons and all markup view show so basically this means that this only shows revisions and the balloon it's talking about is oh, right over here on the right side so it should track revisions it should track nothing or it should track comments and formatting so let's go with comments and formatting now the reviewing pane should be off vertical or horizontal and the reviewing pane is that it will display on your left side that how many revisions did you make and what is the revision that you have made out of those six or seven revisions that you have made on your word document so let's check this off for now and go to advanced options over here now once i go to advanced options it give me another dialog box which says advanced track changes options so the first one is insertions that you can see this dotted line over here which means that this is an underline and it shows that I have made a change, change in this particular line so the deletions is strike through that it will cut the word from here and place the word somewhere else if I have made that change similarly I can change the lines that are right over here and I can track moves I can change the color of these lines as well and I can also change the color of this red and blue of different authors. Similarly you can do a lot, a lot of stuff with advanced track changes options. You can format, preferred width, margin and so on. So let's click OK over here and click OK over here as well. So this is how you can easily track changes and which is a very simple process to do so i hope you understand i hope you learn and now let's move to our next lesson